Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's iPod King Carter here again. I'm bringing you a little video of what I use to record gameplay on to YouTube.com. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, what programs do you use? What equipment do you use? Okay, the first thing is the equipment that I use to record my gameplays is I have a Hopog HD PVR, which is the recording uh, equipment that I use for my HD TV. Uh, it records in 1080i off of my PS3. Yes, I only have a PS3 right now. I may be getting an Xbox soon, but I'm really not sure. Uh, what I do is um, I just hook up the component cables to the PS3 and Hop Hog as well as the TV and it records my gameplay. Now um, the mic that I use to record my gameplay is a uh, Turch. Hold on. Let me look at him. <laughs> uh, Turtle Beach Air Force PX21s. Yes, I'm recording with them now. Sorry. Um, they are the mics. The mics. That is the headset that I use to record my gameplay commentary, live commentary. Just and I talk on Skype and I talk on PS3 with them as well. They are USB only. So when I plug them into my computer, they work that way. And when I put plug them into my PS3, it comes with a little bit of um a little audio uh line in and out where you have to plug into your uh hop hop and then it'll work like that. You can hear the game you can hear people chatting all in one headset it's amazing because when i'm playing call of duty i hear footsteps like oh yeah i hear you boy i'm on your top <laughs> like it's crazy but uh let's get this started um the only internet browser that i use to upload to youtube is google chrome i trust no other browser with my videos when i upload on google chrome is is very fast um for some reason it doesn't take long like others and also it doesn't stop or it like I remember I used to have a problem where it used to say 200 and something minutes to upload a god darn video to YouTube I was like that's crazy but once I fixed my settings in Sony Vegas and stuff like that it only takes 22 minutes to upload a 13 minute video now yes <laughs> it does now uh, let's move on to Total Media Extreme by ArcSoft this is the program that I use to record with my Hop Hog HD PVR if my HD PVR was hooked up right now, um, it would have a capture option. What I usually do is I'll just um, press capture whenever I first turn my PS3 on, and I'll just capture throughout the whole day while I'm on it. I won't never turn it off. I'll just keep capturing and capturing and capturing. It'll have loads of hours of gameplay, but it helps me out in the long run because, say, I wanted a video about something, and I noticed that I've played that game before. I can just go back and grab the video feed because I already have it now let's move on to the next thing that I use um, Sony Vegas 9 Pro this is like the programs of all programs for commentators and and discussion people on YouTube um, what I can do is I could drop a little video inside of Sony Vegas to show you what my actual settings are okay now um, as you can see this video looks kinda dull but I'm gonna clean it up for you guys the first thing that I will do is I'll right click and click on properties while on the video on the timeline now once I disable resample once I uncheck maintain aspect ratio and click reduce interlace flicker look at the way Brandon Bass turns from a dull image into a crisp person alright now what I will do is I'll change the maintain aspect ratio of this to HD which is for NBA 2K11 COD is of course for COD uh, Black Ops and Wiza is for my dude Wiza now he sends me videos from uh, being made in Power Director and they actually show some type of file where it, it just doesn't work so um, I'll change it here all right now as you can see all that black is going um the video actually looks it still looks dull right so what i will do is i will show you the actual um, media video fx that i use to clean up my vids um basically it's um hd from color curves um you have to make it yourself you can't just go in and try to you know see if it's there these are the settings that you have to use um you just have to pull this back and pull this forward and it'll give you the actual setting now um all right now i know a lot of people are like well brandon bass was still fuzzy but that's because it wasn't in best full now see that see how i went from a little doll to the best quality these are what my videos look like when I upload them to YouTube they're very crisp they're very color coordinated 
and they work a lot now my project settings for videos are these um, I will not explain what they are just if you think that my videos come out very clear just use these settings these are the video settings these are the audio settings I'll give you one two three seconds to get it done you can pause the video whenever you want to get the settings right but these are my settings <coughs> okay let's move on to the next one um when i do record my audio in sony vegas which i rarely do anymore what i will do is i will render a video after i make it edit it and chop it up i'll render it put it in power director which is the next program i'll be showing you record my audio then take the audio that i recorded from power director and slap it back in the sony vegas that i have open right now now these are my rendering settings all right, as you can see, it's Windows Media Video um, V11. This is the best type to save as. MP4s are dead. Do not use MP4s. They first of all, they take too long to render. The video file is extremely big, and it takes forever to process on YouTube. Now, my template is YouTube, which are these custom settings. Now, my mode is CBR. My format is Windows Media Audio 9, and these are the attributes for my audio. Of course, my video is in high definition, 1280 by 720. If I wanted to go 1080p like my man Wiser now, I could take it to this, but no need for all that. Now, my aspect ratio is 1.00 square. The frame rates per second is 29.97. Seconds per frame is 5. And the default over um, override of compression buffer is only 3 seconds. Now, the video smoothness is at 100, which is the sharpest my bit rate is eight megabytes per second and nobody worries about the index and the project video rendering quality is at best now i will not save this video because there's no need for me to and don't worry about the mj versus wade i'll show you that video in a few guys don't worry about it it'll come out maybe later today or tomorrow um okay now the next program is power director now like i said before um i actually take audio from power director after recording it and then slap it in a sony vegas now what i usually do is i'll just drop the video in the timeline i'll click on this little microphone right here and just click the record button now actually it's recording and it's playing the video at the same time now while it's doing it i'm, I'm recording i'm making sure everything is right and when you're recording in power director there's no skip in the frame so when you're recording you can actually say everything on time you won't have a lag with your audio and your video at all he shoots okay he lays up okay <laughs> ah he takes a three and he bangs it okay now he's on a fast break he euro steps and he makes it see it's it's basically the best program to use when you want to record your audio on top of your video sony vegas is kind of a hassle but i still love that program now see how it saves the uh, the audio file I just go into the folder take the audio file and just slap it back on Sony Vegas and then just re-render that same video over again because it doesn't matter you know I can wait an hour for a rendering and then do another render process on top of that because hey my, I need my videos to be in great quality now the next program that I use is iTunes now I use this for all beats that I use on my videos now this is a message to all beat makers on YouTube I do need beats so if you're good at making beats um, just give me a personal message on YouTube uh, hit me up on Twitter at iPod King Carter we can definitely uh, get to know each other get a little bit of business going you know if you guys need boxes or whatever sub box friends whatever i do it all it doesn't matter just you know how at me right now currently i'm only using machinima sounds from machinima sound.com because these are free uh they're royalty free and you won't get caught with any type of copyright infringement from using these beats now being a machinima sports director I uh, actually got put on that by uh, Optic Diesel. You can hit him up all day on Twitter. That's my man. <laughs> all right, now the next program that I use is Camtasia Studio. That is the program that I'm using right now to record my audio and my um screen. Now, basically, see how it says Studio Tips about recording the screen? That just popped up just because. But uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, I won't go into every other app that I use, but as you can see, I'll let you see the name. So if you want to try any of these apps out, 
you can. They're pretty good, you know. And that's it. Um, I'll holla at you guys later in my next video. It'll be out soon. I hope that was a good 10 minutes. I hope you stayed. I hope you watched. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. And what else? Peace. <laughs>